back at it, folks. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, I'm Don. This is Rock on the Country. We've got a friendly group of folks around the channel here and very knowledgeable of country music. And when I say country, I mean non-pop country music. That's what I react to and review here. I didn't grow up on country, but I came to it later in the game. But now after doing this channel for six and a half years, I've got some understanding, shall we say, of traditional country. And it's my thing. The depth the intellect, all of that just it is just absolutely unmatched, in my opinion. But it includes bluegrass, western, you know, Texas swing, red dirt, just non-pop country music. And Jason Halverson made a gift to the channel for me to do a new artist to the channel. So Jason, first shout out to you, my friend. Thank you for that gift and request. Keith Harling, Papa Bear. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I'll tell my, my the daughters that I never had, but they're my surrogate daughters. I'll say, like, don't make Papa Bear come out or whatever. They know what that is. I don't get mad at them that often. You know, when, they, when they're in their 30s and stuff, you just kind of get sad when you don't hear from them, but you don't really get mad. All right, let's see what Keith has for us. Jason, you requested, like, the video. But it came from another person's channel, and it didn't say it was the official video. So that might have been a video that th that person put together. So I'm going to do the audio reaction, but I'm going to put the link to that video in the description box below. So if people want to go over and check out the actual video, because I think you said there's a nice twist in the end in the video. But I'm only doing the audio because I don't want to run into copyright issues. Because YouTube doesn't tell us if we're going to run into a copyright issue. We could post something. And then if somebody notifies YouTube that they have a problem, we get a copyright strike. And those are very, very bad. Anyway, here we go. Interesting. It's four o'clock, all my work is done. I could go home early for a little fun They say surprise adds a little spice To an ordinary storybook life I looked down the hall and I saw the end Shadow on the wall of another man Tell me who's been sleeping in Papa Bear's bed Damn, damn, damn. Jason, you got a theme going on with these two requests. Yesterday's and today. These are, cheat these are hardcore cheating so songs. Ouch. But it's male. On one side, dude's doing the cheating. And, and this song here, the woman's doing the cheating. Yikes. I can't see. Tell me who's been sitting in my favorite chair. Rocking my baby while I'm not. I like his voice. One's too hot, and one's too cold. Two's just right, so I'm gonna go. Turn the page, it's time to move on. Whatever we had has already gone. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put our hearts together. It doesn't even matter, it's just someone has. Tell me who's been sleeping in Papa Bear's bed? Who's been loving my baby instead of me? I can't Brutal. see. Tell me who's been sitting in my favorite chair? Rocking my baby. Tell me when did the 
These things, th these types of songs are so in my wheelhouse, just in the sense that it, being a life coach, but also having compassion for folks the way I do. I look at the, the cost, but, I, I, but also the philosopher in me looks at the human experience. Like we're, we're the only species, as far as I know, that has a problem with a circumstance like this. Because, you know, out on the African plains of Africa, lions and other stuff, there's a there's sort of like a, a pecking order and stuff. But, you know, among in the animal kingdom, I mean, if one dog gets like impregnated by like another dog, the dog that impregnated that dog prior doesn't have a problem with it. You know, I mean, so we, I don't know, is it just like the luxury of being human and being like, the apex predator and seeking comfort, you know, like we have our homes, we want our couches, we want our food, we have all this stuff it, in so many ways. We don't have to go out hunting for it. It's it, there is a survival element, but especially those in first world countries, we're so much more about comfort. And, and you know, we live in air conditioning, we take it for granted, but I mean, that is a major luxury. I mean, just we all know when the air conditioning goes out, what that feels like on a 90 degree day. Or when the heat breaks down, we were calling the guy immediately, like, oh, my God, get in here. We need you. So we're about comfort. Is this an extension of that where we just, we mate for life? And why is that? And I'm in favor of that. That's my deal, too. I'm no different. But when I was down taking care of my mother uh, in Florida, something, you know, about five, six years ago, I was there for two and a half years. But, you know, she, from the time she got sick to the time she passed was a year and a half. And so I was taking care of her in her home because I didn't want her dying in a nursing home. And part of it was I got acclimated to, she lived in the villages. So it was um, retirement community life. But there were these sand cranes every so often that would just go walking down the road. And there were, and there were two of them. And they were like four feet tall. These things were tall, man. And my mom told me, because I'm like, Mom, look at these things. And she's like, oh, those are sand cranes, and they mate for life. So they also stay together for life. But is there temptation, so to speak, to go elsewhere that one or both have? Or is it just instinctual once they choose their mate that it doesn't even dawn on them? And then when I hear a song like this, I'm like, of course, I'm hearing him sing the song. And I think, all right, man, that dude's heart's broken. You tend to identify the, with the one who's telling the story, which is why you, you know, when you watch The Sopranos or Breaking Bad, you're kind of rooting for those people at times. And then you're like, wait a minute, they're like murderers or drug dealers or whatever. But in this song, it's like, well, is what did this guy do that made her want to be with someone else and i'm not saying it justifies the behavior but when you look at the full story about why a relationship breaks down you can ask questions and i asked that question not just for him but even when you know a woman sings a song about the dude cheating it's easy to write men off as just being cheating louses and stuff and some are but in this song with the dude his wife was cheating but what was he doing he wasn't necessarily cheating. His heart's going to be broken. But, that you know, there's more to stories. But 
of course, it's like there are good ways of handling a breakup, or if you fall out of love with someone, there are, there are good ways and bad ways of handling it. Sleeping in your own bed, it's like, gosh, man, get, go, go somewhere else and get a room. But, all right, Jason, yeah, I'm going to rate this one. You put me through the ringer two, two in a row, man, <laughs> of these hardcore cheating songs. I love the, I like the instrumentation in this. I like there's sort of like a heartbeat underneath the whole thing and the bass was just kind of going right along keeping the tempo up in this thing and I did like his his voice. It wasn't overly whiny. He wasn't trying to sell me anything. He was just telling the story and I liked the way they wove in the Humpty Dumpty and the fairy tale theme with Papa Bear and all that. All right, the number that popped into my head was an 8.9. Uh, we call that a Montauk Ed special around here, so that lives on. All right, Jason, thank you for that, my friend. Have a great day, folks. I'll see you on another video. Keep rocking the country.